using. Before I do leash pressure, the goal is no pressure unless he needs it. So we're working on the let's go and wait. Let's go. Now he's distracted and he needs leash pressure. I'll give him wait. Let's go. Wait. See how he already understands the wait? Mm -hmm. See that? And off leash. See what I mean by off leash? I'm only using the pressure when he needs it. Mm -hmm. Whereas on that martingale, he was so desensitized with all the choking. Let's go. And now the weights are already turning into SITs. Mm. Default SITs, I call them. Okay, now I'm ready to go. He's walk, now you see how he's walking at my pace? Wait. And then you see how light that leash pressure is if he needs it? Right? It's such a healthier way to live with the dog. Let's go. Wait. Within my perimeter. You just can't leave this perimeter right here. And you see he settles right down with any kind of leash pressure. When I'm ready to go, I always give him a chance. I don't just, if I pop him for no reason, it's unfair. So we just kiss, let's go. Let's go. He does, see? Wait. Let's go. And here he understands the wait. Let's go. Wait. Let's go. Wait. But I like how he looks at you. He looks at me for direction. What's yeah. that? But I look away. I look away. If I stare at him, that's like challenging to him, right? And even though I, not even aggressive challenging, was like, oh my God, he'll jump. So I break my eye contact. I move away from him a little bit. Give him a little space, give me a little space.